Well, hi there, and uh, welcome to the Shoe Rainer Drawing School. And you know, I was just been thinking the last couple of days I'll do my last Mother's Day <laughs> video about Lily of the Valley, and I just this moment had an email from the the Penguin to Be, my YouTube friend, who says, "Could I do Lily of the Valley for Mother's Day? Because it's, it's their mother's favourite flower." And that's just exactly what I was thinking of doing. So it's it's quite complicated. Uh, I better stop talking about it. I better just get on with it. Okay, I have a feeling this uh, could take a little time. Uh, and that's kind of the centre, so I'm going to start this a bit over here. Uh, and I'm going to start with a... I hope you can see this, I'm going to do this fairly lightly. That's going to be kind of the central stalk of the flower. And then another kind of curve coming that way, which will be the central kind of stalk of one of the leaves. And then another one coming up kind of that way and kind of curling out a bit there. This will then curl out and come in quite tight at the bottom. Like that. So that's one of the leaves. And similarly this other leaf starts off quite thin and then it will curl out there and again something like that. Uh, there's going to be a bit of artistic license in all of this I'm afraid. <laughs> so, now the, uh, that will then kind of come down there. The stem of the flower gets thinner and thinner and thinner. So let's start with our first flower. These will then come off in kind of little hooky shapes like that. Um, and that will kind of curl around there. Um, so you can follow up the inside there and then it kind of comes in a bit and then that will come on the inside and then down like that. Um, and then on the end of these is getting this shape right. So it's quite a ball and then onto kind of little bits like that. Get a little ball and then flick them out. Yeah, and a little ball and then kind of flick those bottom bits out. And like that. Um, and the trouble is, kind of, as you come up, then you're going to start seeing kind of the insides and they kind of sh change their kind of shape. So you want to kind of go kind of like that. There are, in fact, only six petals. <laughs> so I'm adding extra petals on, which I shouldn't be doing. But it's kind of within the scope. And... Um, and there's kind of a, some design things to kind of think about. Because um, I'm doing this really quite, you know, I'm doing this quickly because I want to show you how to do it. Uh, now here, look, go one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then kind of curve inside like that. And then that's kind of showing that way. And then I'm going to do another, the final one will be just kind of, sticking out like that. There should be lots more on the stem and they're much bigger than the leaves. Um, so I'm having a lot of artistic license here and also I'm going to make this leaf a bit wider like that and this one a bit wider so it just comes in behind the flower which just gives it that extra kind of design dimension and then I'll rub out the pencils and you're going to be saying why is he using a staler and not a <laughs> rotary pencil? Actually, the, when it comes to rubbing out the pencil on watercolour paper, I find the staler eraser is much, much softer than the rotary. and doesn't kind of rip the paper up so much, but the rotary eraser is kind of really, you know, much better at getting ink off, that kind of thing. And anyway, um, so... You want to kind of draw in the the flowers and then come all the way around and then down and then from behind there then we can come around to the next flower and kind of like that. Draw the flowers in first. I should have done should have done it the other way around because the flowers are going to be Flowers are kind of the most important thing. There's the stars, and they should be 
kind of um, in front of everything else. So I'll do uh, something like that. Do the flower here. Remember, it's very much a kind of a, a round bell to get that real lily of the valley look about it. And go there, and then this one's going to go in there. And then little kind of bits in the middle of it, and you just see the bit around there. Now I can draw in the rest of these stems, and it's getting narrower and narrower as you come up to the top. And so we'll start that about there. Come around there, like that. So it's kind of narrower and narrower, and there's a kind of an order for doing these things to get everything kind of in its place. Uh, and I'm gonna have that kind of just sticking down like like that. Okay, and then we can put the leaf. In the background, how are we doing? Five minutes? Oh, that's pretty good actually, five minutes. Um, well, nearly six now. But, uh, so I thought I was probably at about nine minutes there. Um, now, I love Lily of the Valley. I have them just outside my studio door. And when I come out right at the moment of my studio, it is just smelling <laughs> the aroma. And I have, I think I have two different kinds. I have some which are um, variegated, so the leaves have kind of little yellow striped veins up them, which are rather attractive. And that's all fitting in quite nicely. Okay, let's see if we can draw this. Let's see, I'll paint this rather. And uh, and I'm not inked this in because I think oh, there's a paintbrush. There we are. I've not inked this in because I think they're so delicate that um, ink would just kind of make it look a bit hard. Um, all I'm going to do, uh, wait, 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 I need some, <laughs> I'm using kind of kitchen paper here, I use a lot of kitchen towel because it's really absorbent, good quality kitchen towel paper is, is really absorbent and you always want some around while you're doing watercolour because it kind of cleans things up very quickly. Um, and I'm just going to do the tiniest bit of, I'm using a colour called Naples Yellow. And I'm assuming the sun is kind of coming from this direction, so I'm just going to put, you can hardly see that, I don't suppose. I'll make it a bit, a bit more obvious. I'm going to put a little bit kind of on that side of them, maybe there, so that will kind of give a bit of shade and dimension to the flowers, which are actually very, very white clinical clean white and that's kind of what makes them look so stunning in the garden because they are so white when you pick them. Um, and then, uh, then we're going to want a green and I'm going to mix the green a bit and get some yellow and uh, I'm going to really use green straight from the, the pot as it were, from the pan. I don't use pots or tubes I use pans. In fact I use half pans uh, to be technical about it. So a pan is <laughs> this is a pan, I get this is a half pan and a full pan is twice the size. Okay. <laughs> Just to be technical about it. Some people I know watch these videos, they like to know all the technicalities of it. And this paintbrush is a number five. Da Vinci Maestro Kalinsky Sable and if you're doing watercolours then Sable are the best they're not the cheapest though and uh, I want a little bit of yellow in that now I'm going to start putting a bit of green into the leaves here and some's already gone over the flower which is not good and and of course, if I didn't <laughs> feel the clock running and the camera running, I would take much longer and great greater care over this. 
and yet in some kind of strange way the being under such pressure is, is sometimes quite quite good and uh, kind of makes me take the odd risk which I maybe wouldn't normally do it makes me kind of work a lot faster than I normally do I think when I'm kind of doing you know if I was doing this as an illustration and I was being paid for I'd probably take all day over it <laughs> do a little bit and I'll come back and have a cup of coffee and do a bit more and just add and add and then I'll probably get halfway through and decide it wasn't any good and scrap it and start again and just trying to put a bit of kind of body and shape into the leaf there. and we're going to want that slightly darker underneath the, the uh, bells of the flower and I'm kind of looking into the bells that I've got at the moment and I'm, I'm just adding a little bit of kind of blue to that Naples yellow and then I'm gonna which gives me a very strange kind of colour and I'm just gonna kind of drop that into those darker underneath bits there like that. Um, I'm gonna want something I'm just gonna add a little bit of brown to the green there just to kind of tone it down and I want to kind of get a bit of modelling and shape into the stalk as well now by just kind of painting on one of the edges of it and just kind of filling in where the sh kind of shadows would be and, and I'm just going to put a little bit of darkness in there just kind of shadow formed by the flowers themselves, casting a shadow on the leaf, which kind of looks alright. I've got, you know, I've got these leaves in front of me that I'm kind of using as, as reference, but at the same time I'm kind of making it up as well. So that's looking quite good. I'm going to get my hairdryer on this now. This is going to be a really long video. We're into nearly 12 minutes now. Um, I'm getting the hair dry on it so that I get it all nice and dry so I can put new layers on it and it's looking quite good to you on the camera and the thing about watercolour is it's all about the light coming through the paper I say this quite often the light comes through the paper through these kind of transparent glazes that you draw off but it's not painting that you're drawing colour onto there um, Paint, paint is stuff you get out of a can and you slap it on and the colour is in the paint and that is that's the actual paint that reflects. Here this is the light shining through these thin glazes of colour that you draw on. Uh, so this is why, it, you know, watercolour is quite often thought of as being, you know, part of drawing. Um, now I want to kind of get some bit more sort of shape and we want to get kind of... Uh, a stripiness kind of effect into these leaves. So I'm just kind of flicking these lines up. To just and then I'll flick them back from there just to kind of get a, a feel for some kind of shape in these leaves. And again if we go and flick these kind of lines out there and then flick those up from there then that will kind of give me a shape to work on and then kind of wrap up want it fairly good around there and it's just just to get that kind of modeling of the leaf in there that's quite good okay now we want those we want those uh, little flowers to stand out so what I'm doing is I'm taking that going to take that Naples yellow and I'm going to add a little bit of oh, I don't know Waking it up as I go along, a little bit of, I think that's calming, so it's kind of a strange pinky kind of colour. And I'm going to put clear water all around there, okay. So that will kind of soak into the paper. And then I'm going to take this colour and fill it in as a background. And this might well be the wrong colour to choose and you'll see as it hits where I've already done the water it kind of fades 
and bleeds into the paper where I've kind of prepared it with water and so you'll get a kind of a softening and uh, but we don't need the softening behind there that's fine and so if you've got something that's white <laughs> and you're painting it on white paper obviously you have a problem and this is kind of the answer to it is to very gently carefully paint a subtle background to to it so then it's not white on white but white on kind of a pinky kind of color i don't know what kind of would you call that kind of pinkiness which is probably not showing up too well in the camera but it's looking quite good here um and we'll just have a bit more make it a bit darker down here i think if i can um so it's all going to be running out of time so I don't know if I'm going to have to edit this and kind of fill in some of these you know, speed up some of these sections I don't know there and and I'll just do a bit around there so it doesn't look a bit strange that it's appearing out of nowhere this color um, like that and then again I'll use a lot of wetness behind it so that it just kind of bleeds and disappears into the paper that's about as quickly as I can do it 16 minutes okay um it's just kind of one more thing that I really need to do I think it's really easy on this one ever uh I just need to kind of have something another kind of darker green I'll put a little bit of blue in there and I think because we need to have a bit of kind of modeling to it and that will be add a bit of kind of shape to it a bit more it kind of gives you an idea there we go well <laughs> I think maybe just a tiny bit more under the these ones just to make them stand out a bit that's quite a bit more isn't it suddenly that's looking a lot darker so we'll take that down like, like that and then we'll have to equally do this one a lot darker down here probably underneath there how are we doing 17 minutes okay i'm gonna to have to say that's it okay <laughs> there you go lily of the valley uh it's a kind of a lesson for you and uh if you enjoyed that <laughs> don't forget to subscribe keep coming back to the shoe rainer drawing channel on youtube and uh in the meantime if you do this for your mum, i hope she really likes it <laughs> i hope you enjoy doing it and uh keep drawing keep painting and i'll see you next time take care bye bye